today I'm going to be showing you how to airbrush this eye look. So if you are interested, please keep watching. Now to start this look off, I'm just going to go ahead and take light smoke and apply that to the outer V. And then go ahead and blend that through to my transition all the way toward the inner corner of my transition. If you're new to my air shadow videos, my compressor dial is at 10 o'clock for anything I do regarding my eyes or any sensitive area on my face. Now when you're applying um, color to the transition area, you really want to make sure to practice that lever control in there. Just go ahead and lightly pull back on the lever, um, just really small amounts of pigment at a time just so you can create that nice evenly blended look. Next I'm just going to go ahead and take my shadow shield and I'm just going to go ahead and sharpen the base of the outer V just a little bit and what that will do is just give a little lift to my eyes. Now if the amount of color on the outer V is a little too much for you, please adjust it to um, what you feel most comfortable with. Um, of course when I do my air shadow looks, the amount of color that I apply is the color that I'm comfortable with. So of course just adjust any looks um, to just to make them more comfortable for you. The next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and apply color to my lower lash line. And I'm just going to just swoop it underneath there so not perfect or um, have any kind of formation to it. Next I'm going to go ahead and apply uh, date night and I'm just going to go ahead and apply that all over my lid starting from the outer corner of my eyelid blending it into the light smoke into my transition as well as dragging it toward the inner corner of my eyelid. Now I really love this color because you can start off so sheer and light and then build all the way up to this really deep beautiful red tone. Um, so I think this color would be perfect just to be like the almost um, star of the show color for this eye look. So I'm just going to go ahead and continue to apply this all over my lid until I reach the depth of color that I'm looking for. Remember with any of these eye shadow looks just feel free to stop whenever you feel comfortable. Of course these are just to inspire you um, to mix colors, to use certain color combinations that would create looks that are good for the everyday wear. Now I'm just going to go ahead and apply this color to the inner corner of my lower lash line just by tugging on my eye just slightly to go ahead and stretch that skin so I don't get those little lines there. And then I'm just going to apply color just by lightly pulling back on the lever sporadically. The next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and apply dark brown to the um, lash line. So I'm just going to close my eyes and spray through the lashes that way I can line both the upper and lower part of my lash line. Now I want to do this just to go ahead and give um, my lash line a little bit of a smokier look just to make it a little more bold and prominent but not too bold otherwise I would be adding um, or doing my liner the way I would normally do it. This is just for the smoky effect. So just another quick note, of course, I'm just going to remind you my compressor dial is at 10 o'clock. I'm just lightly pulling back on the lever sporadically just to release small amounts of pigment in the areas that I want it. Now this application does take um, a little bit of time to get used to, but once you get used to it, it's a cakewalk from there. So just keep practicing if you um, find that you're having difficulties doing this. Now I'm also going to apply this color to the outer corner of my eyelid just so I can go ahead and deepen that outer corner. So I'm going to drag it into the natural fold of my eyelid and then down at the base of the outer V. And then just kind of extend it up just a little bit to create that nice um, deep smoky look on the outer corner of my eyelid. Remember to stay light on the lever when you're doing this and just lightly pull back on the lever to release small amounts of pigment at a time. That's how you're going to get that nice um, blended look with airbrush makeup. Okay, and here I'm just taking the shadow shield and once again I'm just going to go ahead and sharpen that um, line on the outer V of my eye. And what that will do like I said is it will just give the eye a little bit of a lift. I'm also going to go ahead and drag that color to the outer corner of my lower lash line just to make sure that everything's nice and blended all the way around my eye. So once I feel like I've reached the amount of smoke with that dark brown, I'm just going to go ahead and do my airliner like normal. Here I'm just applying jet black and using my cat eye and stencil. If you're unfamiliar with airliner, there will be links to my airliner videos below for you. So after I apply my airliner, I'm sorry I did cut out, I did apply a highlighter. You can use whatever highlighter that you want to complete this look. Thank you so much for watching and please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.